there so today we have a favorites video i'm not sure if this is gonna be like a match favorites um but basically it's just a bunch of makeup that i've been enjoying recently i have just filmed an aliexpress kind of recent favorites video so this video is going to just focus on other makeup that isn't aliexpress makeup but anyway let's just get into this also as well let me just tell you before somebody in the comments writes i am and when's excessive amount of blush so i applied my makeup at about six o'clock this morning um and it wasn't really in particularly good lighting so yes she um applied a little bit too much blush is exactly what's happened so, okay so anyway let's just begin so the first product that i've been loving is the i love you so mochi a cream eyeshadow palette by nyx but there's actually one very special kind of superhero shade within this palette that i've only recently just started to use but it's absolutely gorgeous so it's this shade here it's kind of like a champagne shade the reason why i like this so much is that it's super sparkly and pretty and it catches the light and it's almost like a little bit of like a toned down version of the steel and magnificent metals um because it's just got a lot of like just prettiness to it if i do a little swatch on my hand um the actual little glitters don't really show up that well in swatch form i mean i can see them here but i feel like this product is beautiful on the eyelids so i'll just kind of apply the rest of my eyeshadow and then what i do is just apply a little dash of this on top and i feel like it adds a beautiful kind of it's all i don't know it's like adding some fairy lights to your shelf it just adds a, a glow a luminosity just a kind of prettiness that wasn't there before so i love just adding this to my lid just to you know make my eyes look just that little bit more special so anyway i really really like that shade am i saying you should buy the whole palette just for that shade because i know you're probably watching this thinking well i'm when I don't know if I want to buy like the whole palette for just that shade. I completely get it. But um, in general, this is a, a beautiful palette. I do also... Oh, Shania Twain. Oh, oh I've got a little itchy cheek today. Like, I have no idea why. But anyway, so I also have the Electric Pastels palette. This one's the Sleek and Chic palette. Ow, it's pinching me. Ow. I mean, seriously, guys. I think I need to get like a health and safety assessment done of my filming area because if I'm not being pinched by my fucking stool, I'm being pinched by the palettes. I mean, I need some kind of a assessment done up in here. But anyway, so yeah, so uh, yeah, both of these palettes are beautiful. If you're a fan of like cream eyeshadows, I highly recommend both of them. They're the easiest, quickest kind of eyeshadow eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection to use. Okay, so the next product we have is by L'Oreal. This is one of the Colour Riche uh, Shine lipsticks. They, I think they just released these or maybe like, I don't know, they've just been sent out in PR to everyone because all of a sudden everyone seems to be raving about them, you know, all at the same time, which is a little bit suspicious. But I kind of gave into the hype because I am a big fan of more glossy kind of lip products. Don't get me wrong, I love a good dry ass matte as well but you know you can't be a good glossy lip um because you know they do kind of plump up the old lips a little bit um so anyway i knew that i wanted to try these out so i um picked the shade bay this probably looks like nothing to you. it looks like a maybe a clear lip balm but it has a tiny little um kind of pink glitters in maybe if i do a little swatch you could see them can you see so it's got that like pinky glow to it um this is so comfortable i would definitely compare it more to a lip balm than a lipstick because it has that kind of hydrating moisturizing kind of balmy feel to it um but i also love the quirkiness of it having those pink glitters in let me apply it so you can you can have a look by the way i know look at my fucking paws right now i mean really and by the way look let me show you what foundation i'm wearing uh, this is the matte and fecking poreless i don't think it's poreless can you see my pores i mean really i brought this out of hibernation because i kind of forgot about it i used to love it forgot about it 
I'm not very impressed with the whole uh, pore situation. I could do with setting my face as well, but I ain't got time for that. I mean, really. So anyway, look, can you see this? I mean, look at that. And I know that this probably is not going to be like everyone's sex on the beach cocktail, but for me, I, lo I love it. I think from, you know, back here, my lips have like a three-dimensional glossy look and I think from up here you know it's a little bit of glitter and I love sneaking a little bit of glitter into my daily makeup a lot if I possibly can because I don't go out clubbing um me and honeys we don't really go out for meals or anything like that like I never really have a reason to get dressed up so for me I like to just wear glitter on the daily you know it's like well why not let me live hit up in here so I love sneaking this bit of glitter into like my lip situation um but as I said I don't think this shade would be for everybody um and, and I accept that but um they do have a number of other shades uh like a peachy a pinky you know all of the you know traditional kind of L'Oreal shades but it's just a really really nice formula and it's got that gloss to it and they feel well that one I can't obviously um tell you how they all feel but that one feels so good and let me just tell you this right i need to get it off my buyers but have you ever had like a situation where you're just in conversation with someone and then they're kind of t telling you something about like they're like oh yeah so something happened i, I can't tell you what it is but then it, this happened with this person and I can't tell you who it is but I've just been racking my brains I'm like I don't know what to do about it because it's quite a huge thing and I don't want to get anyone in trouble but then this person said this and this person said this and you're just sat there thinking I'm dying to know all of the details about this situation like when people are almost like dangling the tea in front of your face but they're not actually giving you any fucking details and you're just there thinking you know that I'm dying to know every single aspect of what you're not telling me right now. Do you ever have that, right? I had that situation yesterday and I was just there thinking, just tell me the faking gossip. I want to know the gossip. I, I love to know the gossip. And I'm thinking, I won't tell anyone. Just tell me, tell me. Anyway, anyway, that's just like a little uh, situation. But anyway, moving on. So I do have a, a couple of, well, I have three founded liations to mention uh, today. The L'Oreal Infallible um, Stick Sculpt, wait, I'm reading the French side. Why do I always read the fucking French side? I don't even really speak French. Well, I do a bit. I could say, bonjour, uh, je m'appelle Amwen, je suis uh, van un ans, uh, j'habite Salford in Angleterre. I don't actually live in Salford anymore, but I don't know what, what where I live would be in French, so I just say Chabite Salford in Angleterre. Uh, J'adore Cox. I mean, I don't, but anyway. Anyway, okay, so this is the, um, yeah, it's a skit stick sculpt founded lace by L'Oreal. This is $8.99, which I think is pretty good, good value for a, a L'Oreal foundation because all drugstore foundations seem to be increasing in price these days. Uh, this is actually a really, really good formula. I recommend it for oily skin, for dry skin. I have oily skin personally, and um, I find that this just works really, really well on my skin. But it does give you a slightly like dewy finish, and it does have a little bit of an emollient feel to it, which is why I think it may also be good for drier skin types. If you've tried this and you have dry skin, please could you let everybody know in the comments what your personal kind of experience was with it. Uh, but it's a really, really good foundation. It's a medium coverage, but you can build it up. I do find the more you put on, uh, the worse it looks. So I would definitely recommend just not to kind of overdo this foundation. You're not going to get full coverage with it, but you're definitely going to get a beautiful, like natural, slightly radiant uh, medium coverage. I feel like, did I did I say everything I want to say? Probably not, but anyway. Okay, so next we've got another L'Oreal founded liation. L'Oreal just bashing out these brilliant foundations. I wasn't sure whether to mention this one or not because I went to try and uh, repurchase it because as you can see, I've kind of run out. So I went to put, repurchase it and I couldn't find it anywhere, but I only bought this about six months ago. 
So I don't really know what's happening with that. Um, I'm sure they've not discontinued it, but I looked in Superdrug, it wasn't there. Um, I didn't look in Boots, it's probably in feckin' Boots. So I need to get my uh, makeup junkie little ass down to Boots. But this is the Age Perfect uh, Found Ideation. I did do a first impression and review on this and I wasn't overly impressed. Like, I liked it, but it was quite a mediocre kind of like. Uh, but actually since kind of that review, it's a foundation that I've just been reaching for so much as you can see like I've used up the whole bottle and I've even been like trying to get the lid off so I can like scrape the remnants of what's left uh, this is definitely uh, just I don't know it's just like an easy go-to founded liation it's more on the kind of radiant side than the matte side it's a medium coverage it just looks super natural and pretty on the skin it feels really comfortable it lasts really well but its main claims is that it's an anti-aging radiant foundation personally like I didn't really notice a, a massive reduction in in how my um, kind of fine lines looked and I believe that in the actual review I did make a point to say that my pores looked a little bit more visible um, but there's just something about this foundation that I've kind of fallen in love with a little bit and I'm a bit lost now that I don't have it and for me to repurchase a foundation is quite a huge thing because I have no loyalty when it comes to foundations I just kind of flit from one to the other to the other because I like to test them out but definitely this is one that I will be repurchasing because I, I've been missing having it like I've missed having it and I think that's like how you know you need that makeup product because you miss it okay and the last foundation just to mention is by Essence this is the Fresh and Fit um foundation this costs under five pounds it's definitely quite dewy it reminds me a lot of the bourgeois healthy mix serum foundation so if you want a slightly more affordable version of that or if you're a fan of that foundation i would definitely recommend that you give this one a go uh, i have this in the shade fresh ivory because i know they have a limited shades uh, so if you've got like a similar skin to me um then fresh ivory could be the one to go for this foundation maybe doesn't have the lasting power of maybe the other two l'oreal ones that i mentioned but i just really really like it it's a really kind of handy one to have around and i love the dewiness like the glow to it so if you've watched my channel for a while you may know that i've been searching for a really good steeler magnificent metals dupe i've not found one yet the closest that i've come to finding a dupe was by a brand called Heng Fang that I got from AliExpress but even then it just didn't have the same kind of dry down comfortable feeling that this one has I feel like every single lady and man and dog and hamster sloth chameleon just every living thing in and even on like I was gonna say just pop it on your kitchen cupboard and it'll cheer you up you know what I mean this is just the kind of product that you put it on and you feel like a million dollars like if I know that I've got a meeting at work that I'm kind of dreading a bit or I'm just feeling a bit nervous in general if I just put a little bit of this on my lid it sounds really silly but if I just pop some of this glitter on my lid I just feel like I can do anything I feel like I'm superwoman I can just take over the world it just gives me like an extra spring in my step and I know you're probably thinking I'm when come on now girlfriend but seriously this it just makes me feel so good this is like the definition of what makeup is all about uh you know just like makeup just makes you feel a bit special and it just maybe gives you a little bit more confidence um just a little bit more bounce in your vagina you know I just would recommend Magnificent Metals to everybody and anybody. It's £23, but what I've realised is you only need the tiniest amount. So a little goes a long way. Like whenever I pull it out of the uh, tube, I always end up like wiping a little bit off. Um, and it's just divine. This is the shade Smouldering Satin. Uh, and it, you know what as well? Like I know it's £23, but look at this oh gosh it's just so beautiful it just dries down like a mother fecker like it's not hanging about it's just going to dry down it's going to stay in place all day 
and it's just going to look fabulous and make you feel wonderful. Like if I was getting married, this is what I would wear on my wedding day. I'd pop a little bit on my vagina as well, just to, you know, be extra sensational. But yeah, this is a fantastic product. And if I had the money, I would buy you all one. Like literally, I'd be like Oprah. There's one for you and one for you and one for you and one for you. Throw some to the back, you know what I mean? Anyway, okay, so the final products that I want to mention today are the uh, Conceal and Define Concealers by Makeup Revolution. I just love these concealers and I don't really use them like every day. By the way, I have two shades. I've got C1, which is the lightest, and I've also got C3, which is, I think it's uh, for fair skin with neutral undertones. But um, yeah, I don't like use these under my eyes every day it's not part of my routine but out of all of the concealers that i've ever tried in my life um this this has come the closest to actually doing what i expect a concealer to do i.e just making my under eyes look a bit more flawless adding a little bit of a highlight uh, not creasing not emphasizing fine lines formula is a little bit thicker but that doesn't kind of deter from its fabulosity uh, so yeah i would definitely recommend if you are struggling to find a concealer that complements you then i would totally recommend you give the makeup revel yeah i would definitely recommend you give the makeup revolution ones a go also i use a uh, the lightest one as my eye base like every single day now so I just kind of pat a little tiny bit on because it spreads so you know you only need like a tiny bit so I'll put that all over my lid up to my brow bone set it down like a bad boy and then it, it acts as a really brilliant base for my eyeshadow and also because it is quite light it's it kind of gives you that neutral kind of starting point for all of the eyeshadow that you throw on top um, so I just love it. I love it as my kind of eye primer as well as like a traditional concealer. Um, okay. Oh, I do have one more product because you know me. I have to mention this. So, okay. You knew this was going to happen today, didn't you? Because Amwen cannot apparently do a video without mentioning the Aurora palette. This is by TZ Cosmetics. And uh, yeah, this is a six pan cream highlighter palette. I don't think that like it's advertised as being a cream, but believe me, like this is a cream formula. If you're a fan of dual chromes, uh, if you're a fan of cream formula highlights, even if you're not, to get it anyway, um, this is sensational. Look at this. I know I'm always always raving on about this, but it's for good reason because these aren't a powder. They've got that beautiful kind of light as a feather like wet look shit what am i even on about light as a feather what i'm gonna be carried away now but they give you that beautiful wet look duochromatic sheen as if you've just th flown through five galaxies and as you've kind of flown past dust particles from space rocks and asteroids have kind of come onto your cheek and just just giving you like a glow from outer space but anyway i'm going to just right now pop a little bit on because why not just so that you can see i'm just going to apply them all like every single one that was on my finger i'm applying it look at this look at this i mean really let's pop a little bit more on why did he not Oh my gosh, like, look at that. <gasps> okay, so I'm going to apply a little bit. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Guys, honestly, this is an absolutely exquisite palette. It really is. You know that chocolate, Lindit, which is like the Swiss, I think it's uh, Swiss chocolate. And it's like, don't get me wrong, Cadbury's chocolate is delicious. But Lindit is like ro the Rolls Royce of chocolates. It's like the Rolls Royce of chocolates. Um, this is like the Rolls Royce of uh highlights in my opinion it's just epically sensational <gasps> okay i'm gonna pop a little bit of this shade look at this <gasps> look at that pop a little bit up on my nose oh i put quite a bit there on the cupid's bow but oh my gosh she's not hating it how could she even hate it right now um you can buy that palette from um amazon from my mate rick who uh sent it me 
for free to try out and god damn was I happy with that. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you, Rick, literally. We've got a little bit more bay on. We've got the aurora on. We've got the sparkles upon the eyes. And we're feeling majestical up in here. But anyway, guys, I am going to go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please, could you let me know downstairs in the comments what are some of your favourite makeup products? Uh, not of this month, but just recently. Um, I would really be interested to know what you have been loving and I'll be back soon with more.